So uh, for cell complexes, first we start with torus. This is the simplest structure possible. So you take a rectangle, you have the top side you mark as A, top and bottom as A, and the sides as B. Identify top with bottom and the two sides. What you get is a torus. Note that this is a rubber sheet with the sides A and B. So we get a torus. I'm just going to put some color into it so as to recognize A. A we will put a rust color to it and uh, for B uh, just put a say blue color. Yeah. So uh, that is our torus. Now we want to make uh, after this we want to make a two hole torus. So the first thing is we just copy what we have drawn above. Yeah, I'm just going to copy it. Yeah. Uh, so we have copied B and A. We cut this uh, thing from this corner, that is the northwest corner. Similarly, we draw another torus and we cut it on the northeast corner of a C and D. So just right next to the arrow we have drawn on this torus. So once we cut them, we paste them side by side. As you will see now, we just first put the first torus on the side, that is torus with sides A and B, and then torus with sides C and D. The general principle is that uh, for genus G, you need to draw a polygon of sides 4G. So for two whole torus, we need four times two, eight. For three whole torus, we need four times three, 12. So yeah, this is now getting drawn. So yeah, the only thing we need to remember is that C and A are pointing in opposite directions. So are D and B. So that is exactly the point we made the cut. The orientations have to be specific. So that is it. We just now have a two hole torus. I'm just going to draw now um, the holes in it and now the generators. Uh, the generators are pretty simple. This is uh, first I draw A, then C, um, then let us draw different color D and finally let's draw B. Uh, similarly we can draw a three hole torus. We just take this polygon with side 8. I'm just going to take uh, a polygon with side A, just draw C and A and uh, let us draw the C and A. So the C and A is draw and I make just cut right at the corner. Similarly as before we have to add to it a uh, one hole torus. And this one hole torus has to be added so that C when glued with E should point in opposite direction. Similarly A when glued with F should point in opposite direction. And uh, that is uh, we, were, we are going to choose orientation of F or direction of F so as to take into account that F should point away from uh, E. So this is how it's going to look. This is C, this is E and A is going in this direction so F will, has to come in this direction and that is why we chose the direction we chose. So this will give us a three hole torus. I'm just going pointing the arrows to show where we exactly cut it and glue it. So now let us draw the three hole torus. Yeah so the general procedure is that um, we could start with a zero cell which is just a discrete set just a cell like this. One cells are nothing but edges and threads, you know, just line threads, rubber bands, so edge or a thread and two cell is nothing but a rubber sheet. So the general procedure is, for example, in the one hole torus, you start with a discrete set, that is a single point, a zero cell, attach two circles to it and then we say we fill it. We are not being precise, we just think fill it with the rubber sheet, you get a torus. 
Similarly, you take a discrete point, attach four circles to it, fill it. Fill it means attach a rubber sheet, uh, like a single rubber sheet. So this is the general procedure. You start with the zero cell, which was just one in both the cases of uh, genus one and genus two. And then you attach one cells to it. In the first case, we attach two one cells. In the second case, we attach four one cells. In all three cases, we have only one two cell. So if you go on like this, attaching three cell, four cell, you get a CW complex. 